Hello, I'm Faris Silmi, your lecturer. So today I would like to give you the lesson number one for environmental science two. Uh, it is under the topic light and visual environment. So what is light? We all see light as color and brightness. It is actually electromagnetic radiation, partly electric and partly magnetic, flows in straight line and also radiates. Yeah. Okay, so where does the light come from? The light comes from the stars and sun. But how do they make light? It all starts with the atom, a nucleus surrounded by electrons that orbit. Like the planet in the solar system, electron stays in the same orbit unless it is kicked into a different orbit. This doesn't happen very often in solar system, but does in the atom. If you add energy to an atom, for example, heat it up, the electrons will jump to bigger orbits. When atom cools, the electrons jump back to the original orbits. As they jump back, they emit lights, a form of energy. Each electron that jumps back emits one photon of light. So, what is the color in the light? Depends on how big the jump between orbits was. The bigger the jump, the higher the energy. The energy determines color. A blue photon has more energy than a red. It is shine all colors together, it will create white light. So, what do you see here is the wavelength size. Alright? So, from the left side, you can see the visible spectrum of a color indigo on the left towards the right you can see it becomes red in color so from the indigo to the red it is increased in terms of wavelength so this is the thing that we are calling uh, spectrum light is also called particle inside a wave okay so sometimes light acts like a wave as a wave it has wavelength speed and frequency we all learn about wave behavior when we talk about polarization all lights travel same speed especially in normal uh, frequencies in also vacuum the energy goes up as frequency goes up colors depends on the frequency just like we showed we see uh, previously where the wavelength uh, of shorter wavelengths create different colors and longer wavelength will create other colors okay so when you have wavelength you have speed so what is the speed of light light travels at 300 million meters per second it takes up to eight minutes for a light wave or a photon to travel 
from the sun to the earth. We see the moon because it reflects the sun's light. It takes one second for light reflected off the moon and to reach to the earth. When light hits something, for example, air or glass or green wall or a black dress, it will may be transmitted if it is transparent. It will reflected or scattered of a mirror or a raindrop. Sometimes it's also absorbed of a black velvet dress or often it's some combination for example take a simple piece of paper you can see some light through white dust reflects and the black print do the absorbing thing so it is always about combination between the light and matter. So this is the example of diagram showing how the light reacts to matter. Waves pass through objects, but light waves can be reflected off object too. And most of the time reflects in man many directions or we call scattered of the object. However, certain material, actually the wavelengths of the light can be absorbed into the object. And very few material or matter where the wavelengths of the light can be refracted, refracted through the object. So, how does the reflection and color do in light? Remember, white light contains all color and a rainbow or prism separates them so we can see this. Why does a green wall look green in the sunshine? Or why does it look different when it is in shade. What about the other part where it becomes dark? It is become black. And no light will reflect off black material. A green wall also reflects only green light and absorb all other colors. This is the example of absorption and color. Black car will be hotter than white car in the summer. There must be a reason. Remember, light is, is, is an energy. Heat is another form of energy. A white car reflects all wavelengths of lights. But a black car absorbs all wavelengths of light. And also, it will absorb the energy and turning it to heat. So, because of that, that's why a black car is hotter than a white car in any time, not only in the summer. So, now we are going to discuss about light transmission. Transparent material transmit light like windows. Remember, all lights have sp same speed in the vacuum. Different frequencies have different speeds in transparent material that causes a prism to separate the colors. Colored glass or plastic only transmit the color that it is. It absorbs 
or reflects the other color. For example, this. What do you see about this? What is this? This is a study of stars. Astronomers collect energy from the stars with a telescope. So, the visible light, the infrared light, or radio waves, and also other things, so that they can gather the information what they can see from the outer space. So, again, we talk about the atom in the light. Each atom has own special pattern of light frequencies, like a fingerprint. The, fi the, fri <coughs> the fingerprint or frequency will be shifted if the star is moving away or toward us, like the sound of a fried train. The temperature of the star can be determined from the color of the star. The example of ring nebulas, just now that we already seen, and the other one would be this. Different is because of each star has different wave of length, wavelength of light. So that's how it is become. So different stars will see different colors, patterns, and also different wavelengths and energy. So that's all for the class today.